Hello everyone, this is Hakayam and we are back with some more, another video of Sword of the Stars and we l are just right off where we stopped. Uh, let's see. Uh, we just got onto this world. Nekakatat. 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 Yeah, yeah. Cannot say the name. Uh, size 6, so decent world. Not the greatest resources. It's actually about the same as wow that has a lot more um, so it's very close to the home world so this actually might not be an industrial bad industrial place uh, one thing I forgot to point out is you can actually slide this up and over harvest uh, your world so that will take uh, resources from what's there and put it towards your um, your terraforming and the infrastructure. I generally don't do it because it does take away from your industrial output. So we're just not going to focus on that. And we're going to go ahead and colonize this world. Uh, so this one's going to take cost us 88,000 just to terraform. So this is definitely going to cut into our um, resources, our income and what money we spend. World, Queen. So that's gonna be done. They all came back and now we're gonna go ahead and transfer gate ships into all of these. Let's see here. Let's manage these. Okay. Um, so this is where you can actually this is this is gonna make it definitely easier to transfer ships between all these fleets. We're gonna go ahead and move, make, create a new fleet. Um, let's see, boom, boom, boom. Um, one thing is you can move these ships. Can you not? What? Guess you can't. Okay. Um, oh, oh, oh! I know why. Uh, because. I can't do this yet until I research a certain tech, so unfortunately I cannot actually design how my fleets are going to be coming in. Uh, so you, this allows you to put like certain ships towards more the, towards the front while you have more delicate ships towards the back or ships of long range uh, back behind. So this I can't do until later until I research uh, a certain tech. Not worried about it. Uh, up here you can actually manually uh, tell your tanker ships to research. Let's see. And then you do have ships that are designed to repair. Uh, worlds worlds will, will repair your ships. So if you go into a battle and you come back, you can repair ships that way. So we can also rename fleet. Um, I'm not going to worry about that. So let's go ahead. Get these fleets going. So now see uh, my ships can actually tell or uh, gate to this world and then uh, go to this world so we're gonna try to find the closest world as possible so I really want to get our uh, ooh, that one's 16 so Navigation. Mark this trail. Uh, go ahead and do that but let's see what else is around that's 14 so fairly quick so it's including the turn it takes to, to gate to this world and then 13, tur 13 turns to travel to this world. <sighs> and now, let's see where else we can go. Because we have plenty of uh, gate units to actually teleport. Probably going to run into other opponents. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we did. I'd be surprised if we didn't. We rise as one, so, my queen. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and control all of this sector. We should have, I think, another. Yep, we have another gate trip building and wall at like that. Go ahead and build more armor units. Uh, armor units to the defend. Here and obey. Right, in turn. Let's see. Oh crap. System updates. Huh. Fatal mistake. I forgot to keep track of how long this video is going to take. So <clears throat> this video may or may not be 20 minutes. 
uh, might be a little bit off. If it is, I'll make a video a little bit longer next time. So, let's see. All right. Um, but yeah, um, honestly, not much you can do with these. It's it's a fairly s slow game. Uh, you can go online. You can um, fight with other people. System. I haven't activate. tried actually. I should have tried, or I should have seen if you could. Because I don't know if people are still playing this game. I would. I mean, obviously I would since I am playing this game right now. Um, so, go go ahead. Oh yeah, we need to move you. See that one? 17 turns, 18. Yes, Majesty! And produce another gate... Um, yeah, another gate fleet. Because I really want to get us out there and prevent us from being oversworn by certain other opponents. I won 16 turns, so let's go the that way. The way is marked. Engines burn. The way is marked. Engines burn. So, System yeah. Updates. Uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, Join myself. Got some wonderful little water. We're going to go ahead and turn because not much to do. System Dihydrogen updates. monoxide. Lovely. What's that? <coughs> Dihydrogen monoxide going down the wrong hole. <coughs> oh, that was not lovely. Um, so, see, you can see, let's see, especially this world, our population is already almost to a quarter of a million. Uh, which is pretty quick, and I'm assuming I would I would assume that each turn represents a year. System so, updates. Um, but it can be very debatable. It's very vague, to say the very least. So, let's see, armor. How's our? See four ships. Nothing. Nothing's really happening. Um, now, with this game, there's not as much control between uh, controlling where your resources are. Like in the second game, uh, the fixed version. Yes, I did air quotes because you can see that the fixed version, uh, which is a lot more playable. It's it's it is fun. But there are a lot of very minute stuff that you do have to play around with and understand. Uh, it's very complicated. There's a lot more as far as where your re uh, money's going, uh, how you control your planets. There's a trade system, which is co more complicated than the trade system in this game. This game is fairly simple. You just have trade ships around your world, and you set this planetary budget toward trade, and trade increases. Let's see. So yeah, I I do like the second game. I still think System it's fun. Updates. Oh, good thing I turned that off. Sorry, my phone was buzzing. Uh, it's not really not much we can do. Uh, this, I think this is going over budget. Yes, it is. So we're gonna go ahead and drop it down just so we get more money this turn compared to if, if we did not drop it down we wouldn't get as much system updates oh so, yeah we're still over budget Ugh. Let's see so we're not doing too bad as far as money these two worlds are really gonna take our resources just to get them up and running um, what we could always do is send more colonizers to go and help colonize the worlds. System so yeah, that's a thing updates. you can do. You can build more colonizers to send to your worlds to help colonize because they completely take the ship and deconstruct it to build uh, habitats for themselves. So you lose your colonizers. Now in the second game, you do not. Your colonizers will actually go back between uh, the world they were sent from and their new colony and they will go back and forth and send resources just to help them out. But in this game, it's pretty much each world for itself. 
which is kind of stupid because system especially with update. the hivers we have a quick transportation system so I don't know. It's kind of weird. So nine, five, ten, ten, not five. I can count. That's five. Ha! I knew there was a five. Uh, seven. So not doing too bad. And still, our research has not concluded. System update. Ah, uh, why? It's one hundred sixteen over budget. So, well, kind of wish uh, I could talk as smoothly as uh, there's a YouTuber. System Ooh. updates. Uh, there's a YouTuber. Hi, Queen. Please, watch okay. us. We were slow, but successful. You shall be forgiven. Actually, you will be consumed. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> there's a YouTuber named Sinistry who, uh, I love her voice. Her voice is uh, just, it's very soothing. So I will actually go and listen to her voice while, um, if I'm in a bad mood or something. Uh, so, yeah. our technology for increased uh, range is finally done. Let's see, 105. How much we can do? Oh, I know why. Because <laughs> that's all the way down. Uh, so the one benefit of lasers is that they're accurate. They're very accurate compared to the Gauss driver and the mass drivers. So ballistic weaponry. Um, so this is better if you're using them for point defense against other missiles. And let's see. And then particle beam is a larger weaponry. Let's see. This will show me. Yes, it will. Show me the the damage, the range, the accuracy, and the rate of fire, but I'm not too, too worried about designing, uh, researching higher tech as far as weaponry. So this right here is the tech that I was talking about earlier. This squadron CNC will allow you to have more ships out on the, the field, the space field, the uh, out in space at one time. Uh, versus without, you would only have, I think it's only about five or six ships. This allows you uh, to have uh, more than that. Um, the other thing is, the bigger the ships, the so you have destroyers, you have cruisers, you have dreadnoughts. Uh, dreadnoughts, uh, CNC, CNC ships are going to allow you to have the most amount of ships out. Cruisers, second best, and destroy is obviously the least um, we're gonna mm, no we're gonna hold off do yeah we're gonna go ahead and research this suspended animation we are honored to receive funds majesty and we will find as soon as the that's answer. done actually we could probably because I don't think there's there's not much I can do I can change the weaponry uh, so this uh, allows you to design your ships. Um, and I'm, I'm probably gonna go ahead and work on this. So uh, right now, I'm gonna kind of walk you through it. But later on, I'll just design the ships myself and show you afterwards, because this will take me a little while. And especially with the larger ships, it definitely will take me a lot longer. Um, so okay. We'll start off with the command. Command is the front of your ships. So since we researched a previous tech, we can actually switch what uh, command ship. So we can switch this to a hammerhead. And the benefit of a hammerhead uh, command is that it now has two uh, guns. You have two on the sides and one underneath. Um, probably what I'm going to recommend, or what I'm going to do, I mean, you can do whatever you want if you play this game. Uh, I will probably have this one down below as mere point of, no, 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 yeah, I'm going to have these top ones as point defense. Yeah, I'm just changing my mind. <laughs> um, no, yeah, we're going to keep these all goss, because... I can actually go back to the mission section. 
um, and have at least some of them. Oh, that's stupid. So, uh, you can't actually pick out which one. Like, in the second one, you can actually say this front one as, say, lasers, and this back one as the glass cannon. This one, it's all or nothing. So, what do I want to do? Ooh. Um, the reason why I'm, I'm debating whether or not to use, switch those into lasers or keep them as glass is yes, lasers can, are, can, are more accurate while Gauss cannons are not. Um, but they're not as damaging. Gauss cannons, when they hit, they hit hard, so they cause more damage. And I, more than anything, I want the, um, there we go, I want some, that one's kind of bad. Because I can't really... Yeah, we're going to do it that way. And we're going to switch this one. Oh, that one. This one to lasers. So, we'll at least protect ourselves from incoming missiles. Uh, may not always destroy the missiles, but there's always a chance that it will. And... Oh! Forgot to change the engine. Okay, so this is a new engine to dot engine design called Pulse Vision and if you look up to let's see the range I think yeah it's the range you can see that the range is five for the fission and with pulsed fission it goes up to seven. I think it also changes yeah it changes our speed and our tactical speed. So it makes us a little bit faster in both the uh, combat stage as well as the range. Um, you can also see that uh, with a different design, you're increasing the amount of saving costs and construction cost. So that's costing me 2690 versus uh, 19. I lied. I totally lied. <laughs> saving cost change, though. So saving cost is what is affecting how much is going to. Um, cost us in the end. So we're going to go ahead. So another thing I need to point out is uh, each module. So there are module modules, obviously. So these smaller ones are light modules. These ones on the com armor section are medium, and then you do have heavy, which are bigger sections. So as you go up, so I could pick this Goss cannon, and this Goss cannon will be actually a heavier header versus these lighter ones. So, but uh, missiles are great to have long range. So these, I'm just gonna keep that as missile and go from there. Then there are special which I can show you later. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, I don't know. I'm bad at naming. <laughs> uh. I don't want to name it sword, that's just sounds silly. Keck tap. We'll name it after world. Keck tap. Actually. Can I Oh I can! Oh, that's so nice. Uh in the second game you can't do that. You can't do um um uh print not parentheses. Good lord, I can't you can't do that. Can't think what that's called. Um, so. Yes, Majesty. Ship design ready for so construction. So at this moment, uh, I'll just go ahead and show you other. Um, so armor obviously is for offensive defenses. This is your most used unit. Um, then you have assault shuttle, assault shuttle, and this is where. It has a special. It has a special unit. Um, these are shuttles that fly down to the world, and this will basically attack the world and destroy it. Help destroy it. So uh, let's see. You have colonizer. Obviously, design for colonizing range rate. Right? Okay. And the light defense platform. You actually, I probably eventually want to get these. So this is like your 
defensive towers. Uh, you can build, I think, up to about 10, light, medium, and heavy. And these will actually f uh, float around <coughs> and orbit your, <coughs> excuse me, uh, orbit your worlds that you build them on and defend them. So these are very good to have. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and redesign this for the time being. And uh, to have lasers, and we're gonna go ahead and save. We're just yeah, sure. Just keep it as LD. Or get what that is. So okay, all right. I know there wasn't much done, but we're gonna end it here, and we'll pick up where we started. Uh, you guys have a great day. Like, subscribe. Take care.